Before rigging Sky Climber's LNX hoist, check the load rating sticker on the hoist to confirm what the topside rigging needs to be rated for. Also, check the voltmeter for proper system power. The LNX hoist is capable of operating from 185 to 220 volts. If the hoist has sufficient power, you are now ready to read the LNX. It is important during this process that the wire rope is properly tipped. You can check out SkyClimber's wire rope tip preparation video if you need guidance preparing your wire rope. Reeving is the process of engaging the hoist with the wire rope. To begin reeving, push the rope into the hoist. As you can see, the rope needs to pass through the secondary brake and overspeed device. The rope will eventually meet the sheave and you will be unable to push the rope in any further. Make sure the exit hole is clear for the wire rope to travel and drive the hoist upwards to continue the reaming process until the hoist is at an acceptable height to attach it to the stage. As shown by the label, up is in the counterclockwise direction and down is in the clockwise direction. When the hoist is powered, the up-down knob will light up green. Check that this knob resets to the off position before each use of the hoist. When the emergency stop button is depressed, power to the hoist is stopped and the primary brake is engaged. While the e-stop is active, the green up-down light will slowly blink. Turning the e-stop button clockwise will reset the emergency stop and the hoist will resume normal operation. The LNX hoist has a built-in overspeed brake. If the wire rope exceeds 88 feet per minute, the built-in skylock will grab the rope and halt downward movement. The skylock can also be set by pulling the red lever downwards. Continue the hoist in the upward direction and raise the load about 2 inches to reset the overspeed brake. To derig, one must dereave the hoist. To do so, back all the rope out of the hoist until it is no longer coming out. Slowly and consistently pull the rope out of the hoist to not trip the overspeed brake. If the overspeed brake does lock, make sure to push the rope back in about 2 inches to reset the brake and then continue pulling out slowly. Thank you for watching this video. For more information or to contact SkyClimber Access Solutions, go to skyclimberaccess.com.